Hi, this is Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm gonna to go over the new arrivals for August 14th, 2020. So we're getting right before record store day. Manufacturers have kind of still slimmed down the amount of stuff they're sending out to stores. The audio file labels keep pumping stuff out. Companies like Mobile Fidelity are out of almost absolutely everything. So when they do come out, and they're but they're they're restocking stuff pretty pretty rapidly. It seems like about once a week I'm getting at least one title as a restock. So the stuff is coming out, but it's being gobbled up by the market instantaneously. So yeah, I mean it's when you see these videos, guys, you got to not wait. The old days of like Mobile Fidelity or these companies coming out with a title, you've got months to order it before maybe it goes out and you got to wait for the repress. It seems like those days are over. The last three or four months, if something has come out, a new arrival from Mobile Fidelity or a restock from Mobile Fidelity, they've been gobbled up immediately. And then, you know, you're going to wait six months to a year, it seems, before these restocks come. But, yeah. Uh, new uh, pre-orders this week. There's a Rolling Stones live show, Steel Wheels Live. It's a 4LP set on colored vinyl. That comes out September 25th. That is available on the website for pre-order as well. So let's go over the new arrivals. So I actually listened to this earlier today. It's really good. I'm a huge Johnny Cash fan. Uh, this has got a great sound to it. This is limited to 3,000. This is a double disc 45 RPM, but 3,000 audio file records by Johnny Cash. Not going to last long. It's going to get gobbled up quick, and it's going to be another future $100 mobile fidelity record real shortly. So, got a restock of Communique. I want to say the Miles Davis Kind of Blue and the Dire Straits Communique. Oh, excuse me, the Dire Straits, four Dire Straits titles. So, not Brothers in Arms, but Brothers in Arms has been popular. But the first four albums that were all analog have been virtually impossible. I have not had these in the store for more than a couple days. Since they've come out, they've sold out every single time and go right into awaiting a repress. So if you do not have any of these, I recommend all four of these. All four of these are on the top analog records in print you should own. These are some of the absolute best sounding mobile fidelity records they've ever done. These are a no brainer, fantastic records, communique. So I got Love Over Gold a couple of weeks ago. It was gone within a couple of hours. I got a little bit more of these than I did the Love Over Gold, but that should go pretty quick and you'll be waiting to get. The other three are on order, but it'll be a while. Incubus, make yourself, this is numbered to 2000 on velvet purple colored vinyl. Okay. Restock. Bob Dylan bringing it all back home. This is in mono. They only did 3,000 of these. The stereo copy of this is going for, I think, $150 now. This is an amazing sounding album in mono. Uh, yeah. Still sounds really, really good. Restock of the Freewheelin' Bob Dylan. Again, mono. A lot of these Bob Dylans are in the process of going out of print. So what you see on the website is kind of what's left. A few of them may or may not come back in stock. But for the most part, they've been, uh, they've been get in the process of being purged from the system. Here is another Mobile Fidelity restock that been waiting a while on. Pretenders, self-titled album. Another Mobile Fidelity restock, 404. Yeah, this has just been the end of last week and the beginning of this week. I've been getting all kinds of restocks, but we'll see how long they last. Okay, so from my top 10 analog R&B and blues records that you should own, Curtis Mayfield's Superfly, absolute fantastic album. These are numbers. I want to say this is probably your last chance of getting this record. You know, Mobile Fidelity is real good about releasing their titles in sequential serial number, you know, on the back. Uh, 
they get them all shipped from RTI, all the boxes, all the master boxes tell you on there. You know, you've got uh, 3,910 through 3,920 in this box. So they seem to go in order. And you can kind of tell on these limited editions. So, you know, a title like this, there's only 4,000 of them. You can kind of tell when you're getting to the end because I've got number 3,833 in my hand. And I want to say I had even higher than that. I think I had some titles into the 3,900s. So not going to be around much longer. That's the end for that record. Fantastic car self-titled. So been out in print for a while, but yeah, this came out in 2009. This is probably one of the oldest mobile fidelity title records in print, but it's a fantastic sounding album. I remember when this came out, I was drinking, having a few beers, listening to records, and I have a big, maybe a 10 pound weight puck on my turntable, and I dropped it on the vinyl, and it kind of rolled off onto the ground. Luckily, it didn't damage anything but the record, it didn't take you know my stylus off or anything, but it put a nice thick gouge right down the center of it. And subsequently, I no longer drinking vinyl at the same time because it's extremely dangerous for your records and for your hi-fi so that was the record that stopped me from ever doing that again so yeah a lot of killer mofi titles these guys these guys these are not going to be in print forever if it's a title you like don't wait on it because you're going to pay dearly for it if you want it in the future so this seems like a record that just keeps getting reissued endlessly but ramones it's alive yeah, cool story with this record. I had a guy come in, sold me a bunch of really, really high-end records one day. A lot of 90s stuff, Tool in them. I mean, really killer 90s stuff. Knew what he had, knew exactly what he wanted. We make a deal, and he goes, I'm going to throw in a bunch of records. If, you, if we make a deal on this, I got a bunch of like dollar bin stuff for you if you want it. And I'm like, all right, don't think anything of it. Put the box to the side. Uh price all the records. A couple days go by. I'm like, well, let's see what's in that dollar bin record, you know, box. Inside the box was like five Talking Heads records signed by David Byrne and a copy of It's Alive, beautifully signed, right, you know, Joey, right, you know, the signature right by Joey. The ticket stub from the show here in Phoenix that, uh, from that kind of that era. And then there was a local tower where they did the autograph signing. So we had the flyer in it, the ticket stub, and the album was all autographed. And it was sitting in the so-called junk that I was going to put in my dollar box. But I've got it at home. One of my favorite albums. I'm not a big autograph fan, but you got four guys, iconic band. All of them are dead. Got the ticket stub, the poster. I was super happy to get that. Think. Hopeless Romantic. All right, Minecraft, Volume Beta. Whitney, Candid. This is the Indie LP exclusive, which is clear blue vinyl. Sylvia, I have no idea how to pronounce that name, so I'm sure I'll get corrected in the comments. I get a lot of, uh, I feel like the... Uh, the punctuation police are constantly watching me and correcting me in the comments. But yeah, blue on blue. Man Man from Sub Pop. Not familiar with the band? That's a double. You don't see too many Sub Pop doubles. Soundtrack for The Running Man. Yeah. This is the CCR Cosmos Factory, Abbey Road, Half Speed Remaster. You know, really high quality tip on jacket, good quality. You know, Kraft does a good job. You know, a lot of their stuff is analog. This is more than likely not. The half speed stuff that comes from Abbey Road Studios is typically digital, but a lot of their stuff is analog. They do a lot of source cutting from the original master tape, but real good high quality tip on jacket there. 
the best of Bon Jovi. Crossroad. You know, I'm glad they're starting to actually do, you know, true vinyl guys aren't big fans of, you know, guys that have been doing this a long time. Their album, you know, vinyl guys are album guys, but a lot of people are getting into vinyl and it's good to have some of these greatest hits comps in stock because a lot of people getting into it aren't going to go out and buy every Bon Jovi album. This is a, uh, from my absolute favorite band, The Doors, Robbie Krieger. The ritual begins at sundown. This is on yellow vinyl. The label is The Players Club. So I am looking forward to giving that a listen to. So this is the limited edition splatter vinyl of the used. Back in stock, Peanuts Greatest Hits. Just kidding, Peanuts Greatest Hits. Picture disc, this was limited to 2,500. Uh, yeah, always a popular seller. I don't think I showed this last week. Fishes the Baker's Dozen. This is, I think, on Splatter Wax. The Stooges, live at Goose Lake, 1970. This is a soundboard recording, official release by Third Man Records. This is the final performance of the original Stooges lineup. Like I told you guys last week, I've got some more copies of Neil Young Harvest. I think when I did that video, I had like three or four. It was an insignificant amount. I sold them immediately. But beginning of this week, I got another couple dozen sent to me, part of my back order. So they're slowly trickling in. Static X, Project Regeneration, Volume 1. Valentine, new Bill Frizzell. I'm going to have to give this a listen to. Nice uh, re... Uh, let's see. Yeah, double disc. New blow note. Always exciting. Okay, so a customer of mine kind of told me about this last week. So I showed the red vinyl version of this last week. It's a double disc. It's essentially the best of DC. You know, Superman theme, different Spider-Man themes. You know, the Superman John Williams, the Adventures in Clark uh, theme. So a lot of different DC-related music. But they did two versions of it. They actually did a blue and a red version of it. So they only did a 1,000. This is but music on vinyl. So last week I had the red vinyl. This week I have the blue vinyl. The red vinyl is already sold out and discontinued. So I got some of the blue left. And that's it. Oops. I did it again. Britney Spears. 20th anniversary picture disc. Yep. Very popular. Britney sells. She has a big cult following. And what is this? That's the Flaming Pie Deluxe restock. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep in mind, too, I'm going to start doing a lot of record store related stuff, probably starting as soon as next week. Unboxing, stuff of that nature. Until next time.